What is going on guys? Eagle Aquatics back here and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about my personal top 10 favorite uh, bottom feeders for the freshwater aquarium. Now this list has no consecutive order. I just threw a bunch of my random favorites of all time onto a sheet of paper uh, and I'm going to give you my opinion on all of them and personal experience and um, the sizes that they get to, the tank sizes, and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. This isn't intended for the beginner aquarist. Uh, a lot of the stuff on this list isn't for the beginner. So this is just for any a freshwater aquarist that's looking for an awesome bottom feeder. I got them for you. These are some of the best, in my opinion, and the most unique. So let's get going on this list. Number 10 are um, Cory Catfish, Corridora Catfish, uh, probably the most popular um, bottom feeder in all the freshwater hobby. Everybody has kept these at one point in their uh, hobby career and uh, they're just such a cool fish. They're really tiny. You can get them big schools of them. They're really, really cheap, um, super hardy. Uh, they're always on the bow. That's what a lot of people uh, like about these fish. They're always moving around looking for food and everything. They're never just sitting in one spot for hours on end. Uh, they're always moving around. You, there's so many different colors. Uh, really all of them reach about the same size. There are some bigger species, but most of them are going to stay between that two to three inch zone, uh, if not smaller. Uh, they're always cheap and uh, yeah, uh, minimum tank size probably I would recommend probably no bigger, no smaller than a 10 gallon tank. Uh, these guys do like the school, so make sure you get a few of them, at least two, inside of a tank, and uh, you'll be more than happy with these guys. You can find them anywhere. They're one of the most common fish out there, and uh, you'll love these guys for sure. Let's get on to number nine. Uh, this is actually. Uh, not a fish, uh, but an invert. It's a freshwater invert. One of my favorite things that I've ever kept. I'm not keeping any currently, uh, but next one on this list at number nine is the crayfish, the freshwater crayfish, specifically the electric blue uh, red crayfish or regular, just common crayfish, or a ghost crayfish, ghost white if you have a bigger tank. Now these guys are very, very unique. Not many people keep these guys in the freshwater aquarium. But uh, I have kept both the ghosts. Well, I've kept all, I've kept three of these. I've kept a white ghost um, crayfish, an electric blue crayfish, and a red crayfish. All had uh, good luck. They're pretty hardy. They're really fun to feed and watch them scoot around the tank. It's pretty awesome. Uh, very, very unique. Uh, creature to have in a freshwater tank. Um, they're more more peaceful uh, than you'd think. You'd think, oh, they got those big pinchers, they're just going to take down fish left and right. I have not witnessed that. I've never witnessed one eating one of my fish. you got to keep these guys fed, though, and that'll keep them away from eating your fish. Um, but I've never experienced any aggression out of these guys. I find them to be more peaceful than people think. Uh, I find them easy to care for. Just drop in some algae wafers for these guys and they'll be set for sure. Uh, as I said, very unique. Uh, the blues, the blue crayfish and the red crayfish, I think reach around five inches. Um, I've kept them um, successfully in a 20 gallon tank. Uh, they do fine in there if they're one of the only things in there. You're totally fine. Uh, you can keep a ghost white. The white ghost crayfish get big they get about 10 inches long so for these guys you want to have them at least 55 gallons uh, they are big fish or big uh, invert so you don't want to have a bigger tank for those guys and uh, they're just really cool really rewarding and uh, just an awesome thing to have not many people have them so go out and find one uh, next one on this list at number eight are of course plecos um, specifically, I would recommend the smaller species because some of them get extremely big. Uh, 
The ones I recommend are bristle nose plecos, either a vinyl or regular albino plecos, rubber lip plecos, there's also clown plecos, uh, snowball plecos, vampire plecos, they're all really cool. A little bit smaller species. Everybody knows these as, these guys as being one of the best LG eaters that you can get for the freshwater uh, aquarium. There's a million different color variations. They can range anywhere from like $2 at a pet store all the way up to like $300 for like a zebra pleco. So they're a huge range of prices. Uh, they're relatively common. Uh, the common ones are all these ones I just said, but um, zebra plecos and the vampires, stuff like that is going to be more rare. So you're going to have to go to a more exotic place. Um, but there are so many types. Um, and these guys are one of the fish you could actually feed vegetables. I feed my plecos. I have several plecos in here. Uh, they get cucumber and zucchini at least once a week. Uh, they eat off that like crazy and it's really cool to watch. Um, all these ones I listed, the bristlenose, albinos, rubber lifts, clown plecos, all reach about four or five, six inches. So you'll be good. You'll be set with these guys probably in a, I wouldn't put them in any less aquarium than 20 gallons. 20 gallons and up, fine for these guys. Uh, so they're really cool. Uh, next on this list being in uh, six are Sino catfish. Cynodonus eruptus catfish, Cynodonus um, multipectatus uh, catfish. I have both of them in this tank. My one Sino eruptus is massive. He's probably around six inches. I don't think you'll be able to see him in here, but he hides behind this structure right there. But these guys are a bigger catfish. Keep that in mind. So you don't want to, you want to house these guys in no less than probably about 50 gallons, 55 gallons of water. Uh, they're very hardy catfish, I've noticed, and they are very easy to care for. They pretty much eat any um, pellet or bottom feeder pellet or anything like that. And uh, they're really cool. They got huge fins. Um, <clears throat> the Cynodonus eruptus catfish are more brown, but they have really feathery fins. And when you remove them from water, they actually squeak. That's why they're also known as squeaker catfish, which is pretty cool. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than your average. Like the multipectatus is uh, the silver with black dots. It is going to be run you a little bit more expensive. But these guys are also known to have great relationships with uh, African cichlids. So if you're looking for a bottom feeder for African cichlids, you're going to want to look at these guys because they're one of the best catfish you can put in a cichlid tank because they actually get along with them. Uh, they can school if you have a big enough tank, um, but one will do. I've only kept one in all my tanks and they do just fine alone. Uh, they grow pretty quick, that's for sure if you feed them a lot. Uh, they max out around 8 inches. So they're bigger catfish, but definitely one of the coolest. Uh, so the next one on this list are Pictus catfish, another catfish, because catfish are awesome. But you can see mine in the log right there on the bottom. You see them moving around in there. These are the guys with, they're very fast fish. They get the massive, long, super long whiskers, and they're like a striking like silver chrome color with like black spots. They're really cool, probably one of the most coolest looking uh, catfish that you can buy today. Uh, they're a schooling fish. If you could have a bigger enough tank, but one will do, you'll be fine with one. Uh, they do get a little bigger, about five inches long. So probably around 55 gallons you want to stick to with these guys. Uh, they're very hardy. They eat a lot, so make sure you keep them fed because they got the big mouth of sucking all the food. Um, but they're really cool fish. They're, they're more skittish. Uh, once you put them in the tank, they'll fly around everywhere. But once they get settled, uh, they'll be good. Like, give them a hiding spot and they'll stay in there. So, uh, definitely an awesome fish. Um, you can, there's a lot of different kinds. I think there's like a, I don't know the other names. There's like a one stripe one, like a, ones with no spots. There's different variants. They're all pretty cool. Uh, so the next one on this list are shrimp. 
specifically a mono shrimp and bamboo shrimp, the bigger varieties that you could keep with um, semi or like peaceful fish, like a little bigger, like tetras or guppies. These guys will do just fine in there. Uh, I've been keeping a mono shrimp recently, and uh, I'm really liking them. Uh, they are a bigger species of shrimp. Uh, they're pretty hardy, as far as I'm concerned. Um, they're pretty hardy shrimp. They're fun to feed. They eat like anything you feed your fish, like flakes and stuff like that. Uh, they're super great for planted tanks if you're looking for a bigger fish and you want to house them with like discus. Uh, they're good because they're a bigger shrimp. Um, and they're fun to feed and pretty unique to having a freshwater tank. If you got like a little 10 gallon tank with like uh, mollies and guppies like that, you can put a couple of these guys in there and they'll do really good. Uh, and they can be pretty colorful. And uh, you'll just see them grazing on the algae and stuff. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool to have shrimp. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to the next one, which are bikers. I know these guys are a big fish, so if you don't have the tank size for these guys, don't get them. Uh, I'd say at least 75 gallons for these guys because they get about 14 inches long. I'm just talking about the albino uh, bikers and the regular common um, Senegals. But they have always been one of my favorite fish to keep in the fresh water, if not my favorite fish. Uh, they're one of the coolest looking, um, awesome, awesome fish. Uh, they get big, like I said, but they're really fun to feed. You drop some pellets down and just strike at them. They're super cool. They're really long and they got like, these spikes and they move with their front fins. It's really, really cool. Uh, like I said, fun to watch swim. Um, they're not as common as some of these other things on this list. Uh, you can find the common ones at PetSmart sometimes they'll have them, uh, but the albino ones, like there's an albino in here, I don't know if you'll see them, um, but the albinos are more rare, but in my opinion they're cooler because they got red eyes and they're just white. It's really cool, look them up. And, uh, but watch out for these guys, you want to keep them with more bigger fish, like semi-aggressive, like the fish you see in here, like bigger rainbows. Severums, barbs, um, because they will take down smaller fish like little tetras and stuff once they get big. But this is a very unique fish. It's an oddball fish. And if you have a big enough tank for these guys, you definitely want to get one of these because they're really unique and uh, a really cool bottom feeder to have. Uh, it will, people will really notice this guy on the bottom. Uh, so, and they're rewarding. They grow pretty quick and, uh, er, uh, yeah, relatively quick. And they're just a really cool fish to have, for sure. They do get along with each other if you want to have, like, one albino and one regular. Uh, they get along. You're, you'd be fine. Um, but, yeah, really cool fish. Uh, next one on this list are loaches. Specifically, dojo loaches, coolie loaches, uh, clown loaches, bodias, and hill streams. Uh, dojo loaches, I've kept them in the past, they're like, they look like worms, eels, uh, they're not very big, but they got this like sucker mouth surrounded by like whiskers, it's really cool, you gotta go look them up. Uh, they're always, when it, as soon as you put flakes in the tank, <laughs> they'll start flying around everywhere, it's nuts. Uh, one of the best bottom feeders you could have, they're always scavenging in the bottom, looking for stuff, it's really, really cool. And um, you can get a big school of these guys once you feed them. They'll fly everywhere, like I said. Uh, coolie loaches are the same way as those guys. Uh, clown loaches are a little bigger, so you definitely want to have at least 55 gallons for these guys. Uh, but clown loaches are the same way. All loaches, bottom dwelling loaches I'm talking about, are all excellent bottom feeders. I have a ton of Bodia loaches in here. You'll see them fly by, like there's one in the front right there. They're always looking for food. They Every single inch of the bed, the gravel bed that I have in here, they go over every time I feed. So one of the, probably the best bottom feeder in this tank right now. So go out and get yourself one of these guys, or a few, a bunch of them, because they don't get very big, and uh, you're gonna wanna have them, because they're a great 
Uh, hill stream loaches are also, they're kind of more like plecos. They eat algae and stuff, but they're really cool. They look like stingrays, honestly, but they're really small. They don't get very big. Um, but I've never kept those guys. I'd like to keep, keep them one day. So go, go out and look for some of those guys. Uh, next one on this list are Farl Farlawella cats. Like stick catfish. Now, many of you guys uh, might not have heard of these guys because they're not that common. Um, but they're really, really long. They resemble like a stick. It's really cool. They have like a, a pleco mouth, like a suction mouth. They eat algae, but they will also eat some of the fish food that you feed your fish. They're really cool. I kept one of these guys in the past. Uh, I don't know, it's just a really unique, weird fish to have. Uh, they're pretty active too. I mean, they're always out in the sun. They're not hiding. Um, so yeah, they look like sticks and they're really cool. Uh, they're armored too, so they're pretty hardy. And uh, they get along with a lot of fish. Um, so they're very unique, odd fish to have in a tank if you're looking for some oddballs. Uh, really cool, really cool. And then the last one on this list um, are auto sinkless cats. Uh, they're really small. Um, they're excellent algae eaters, and they got a lot of personality for their size. They're small. You can get a ton of them and just throw, throw them in the tank. You'll see them everywhere. They'll stick to the glass, stick to everywhere, and just eat all your algae everywhere. And they're just a really cool fish. I wish I had some in here, actually, um, but I don't currently. Uh, they're not that easy to find. you got, you got to search for these guys. But... Uh, a really cool fish. You can keep them in nano tanks too because they're so tiny. But uh, there's just a really cool tank. You can get a bunch of them and just put them in here. Uh, and they'll thrive for sure. Uh, so, yeah, guys, this has been my personal top 10 list of the ultimate bottom feeders for the freshwater aquarium. Uh, so, go out and find some of these guys. If you never heard of them, go out and find them, buy them, you'll love them. Uh, for sure, I've kept all of them. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I'm on Instagram at Eagle Aquatics. Make sure to go uh, over there. Follow me. Uh, I post exclusive content. Not showing on my videos all the time. And uh, you're going to want to follow me on Instagram. You're going to want to subscribe to this channel, too. Because I'm coming out with a ton of videos. New ones. i got got big plans for uh, maybe another saltwater aquarium um, so stay tuned for that uh, leave me suggestions in the videos down below or in the comments down below suggesting new videos you you guys want to see whether it be product reviews reef updates saltwater uh, freshwater anything just what do you guys want to see leave it down below and I like this video and I'll see you next time